so we have to um, we have to congratulate Amazon, Amazon.com, right? Amazon poised to be the first trillion dollar company, trillion dollars market capitalization, trillion dollars in stock. Wow, <clears throat> country's doing well, right? We're doing fantastic, right? Million one trillion dollar mark right behind them. Apple, Google. Microsoft, right, all had 33% gains in 2017. Uh, how are we doing? We're doing good, right? That, that money's trickling down, right? Trickle down. Remember that trickle down economics? They recorded Amazon $4.6 billion in profit. Now, here's the big question. How much did Amazon, how much did Jeff Bezos and Amazon pay in tax? They're worth a trillion dollars, right? Trillion dollars. How much do they pay in tax? How much? How much do they pay in tax? How much? Fucking zero. 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 They pay nothing. They pay nothing. Years before that, fourteen percent. Then they get a tax break. The Trump tax break. They went from thirty-five percent down to twenty percent. They still pay zero. 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 You're out in the street. You want to pick it? You want to, You want to protest? You want to protest the Second Amendment? Take guns away from people, but. Where, where's the outrage when when Amazon and 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 seven or eight thousand other publicly traded companies pay zero in fucking tax zero nothing right they pay nothing right discretional spending in this country thirteen point one billion just in food food alone one of these companies can pick up the bill if they just paid the tax right what how much did Jeff Bezos make how much did he make on the books, not even a million dollars. That's bullshit. How much is he worth? Jeff Bezos, CEO for Amazon, $128.7 billion. $128.7 billion fucking dollars. Right? This is called tax avoidance. 8,000 companies not paying billions of dollars. Right? Right. Now, Amazon, I heard they're going to, they go, oh, wow, they're going to, they're doing well. You know what they're going to do? They're going to shopping a second headquarters. They're going to pick a city in the United States and, and set up a second headquarters. That's good, right? It's good for the, it's good for the economy there, right? No. It's a fucking, it's like a vulture, right? It's going there. Then they're going to suck all the resources out of the, out of the, out of the state. Yeah, they're going to create some jobs, create some minimum wage jobs and, and put those people on food stamps and Medicaid and, and, uh, and, and, uh, stick them in public housing, keep them alive. Okay. Am I pissed off? Yeah, I am pissed off. I'm pissed off. Are you pissed off? We should all be pissed off. Right? <clears throat> we should all be pissed off. We should all be pissed off. This is called tax avoidance. All the monies, all the monies, so, well, you know, one out of seven people on food stamps, one in five in New York City walking around on food stamps. Thirty-five, one out of thirty-five people uh, are incarcerated or somehow, you know, got their foot in the military in, in the uh, prison industrial complex. Military, military discretional spending, spending six hundred billion dollars a year on a war machine. Right? They spend the money. Where do they spend the money? Spend the money on these publicly traded companies that that take the money and they don't reciprocate. Right? All the wealth leaks out the top, folks. That's what's going on, right? It's gotta stop. Right? It's gotta stop. You can you could you, you could protest all you want out in the street and you see what happens. You try you know, some people believe strongly against guns and what does the Democratic Party do? They turn it into a voter drive so that they can stage another, you know, fake election and, you know, build up a... a Build up, make you believe that there's actually a real election going on, which it's not. It's manufactured consent so that they could steal the election, right? So, know thy enemy is what I'm saying. Know thy enemy. Know the enemy. The enemy is not the guy next to you on the bus. It's not the guy competing for your job. It's not the Mexican guy who's working for minimum wage, washing pots in a, in a, in a restaurant in New York City. Right, or trying to jump over a fence so he could escape, you know, you know, deeper and deeper poverty. It's not the person that immigrates to the country and wants to be part of a country, right? It's the it's the ruling elite. It's this is the problem, right? 
This is the problem in this country right now. You know, I was down at uh, Sukati Park in 2011, you know, Occupy Wall Street, right? Remember that? Occupy? Remember Occupy Wall Street? Where are those people? Where the fuck are they? You couldn't wait. You couldn't wait. Bernie Sanders was right behind you. He was right on your heels. Right? Where are they now? Where's Occupy Wall Street? Crickets. Nothing. Nothing. Right? They had the right idea. They had the right idea. But where's the, where's the outrage now? That's, the, that's what I'm talking about. There's trillions of dollars leaking out the top. You want college, free college, uh, free college uh, tuition? You want, uh, you know... Universal health care, you, you want you want uh, infrastructure, you, know, you want to make the subways, the subways look like, you know, like shitholes, you know, because the paint is falling off the ceiling, right? You want all these things, but, but everybody says, oh, it's, we got to work harder, we got to work better, we got to work more. No, the money is there. The money is being stolen out of your pocket, right? The money is there, and it's being stolen out of your pocket. America is a wealthy nation wealthy nation very deep pockets very wealthy so George Orwell was right you know it's complacency it's a fake media designed to talk about anything but the fact this is the fact of our our this is the reality of our existence right now in America right there's there's 25 20 25 percent Unemployment, right? There's only 1%, 2% of the population enjoying the wealth of the nation. My name is Marcus Conti. I'm an investigative journalist, a YouTube reporter, and um, I'm pissed. <laughs> I'm pissed right now. I'm pissed off right now. Peace out.